What's up, YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin. I'm coming back to you with another video. And I want to talk about NBA 2K16 and some of the um, things I heard about my player. And one of them is college teams come to my player. And I'm assuming this, you know, all this is pre-draft stuff, of course. They talked about some of the teams that they have licensed. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more because, you know, it's not that many that they currently are talking about. But you know, I was actually surprised to see this. As a matter of fact, let me just tell you the team before I say any more. Um, Arizona, Arizona State, Connecticut, Georgetown, Kansas, Louisville, Michigan, Texas, UCLA, Villano Villanova, and Wisconsin um, are the teams currently. Now I'm pretty sure they're gonna get you know UNC, Duke, Wake Forest, all you know all the big name colleges, Maryland, you know, Indiana. They're, they're gonna get all those teams and pretty much license those. Well, who knows? I mean, maybe they don't get that many. Maybe they're just trying to... Uh, this is almost like an experiment type thing with the story, but I don't see why you would do something half ass it. But it happens. Hopefully this isn't a half ass and you know they really go forward with this. Because the last thing I think was done in terms of college was the NCAA game. NCAA football by EA. And after the whole licensing um, thing went, it went really bad. No one's been able, you know, no one's gotten any, you know, the licenses for any of the, you know, college teams. So we'll have to wait and see what exactly um, they do. It, it, what it would, something that would be nice would be like tournament, you know, have a tournament. Don't, you don't have to call it March Madness. Obviously, you can't, you know, you won't be able to do that without the NCAA's consent. You don't have to call it that. You just call it some kind of tournament and then have those teams that, you know, that I mentioned and then whatever ones they want to do um, on a later date have those teams in the tournament and have uh, based on the way you play that will be how your um, it will affect your draft stock either in a good way or bad way of course the next thing is the summer league now 2k12 they had something like this I don't think they call it the summer league I don't remember it's been a while but as you well know currently the summer league is a big thing a lot of fans who missed the season already you know watch the summer league not only to see you know, players that got drafted by their favorite teams, also veterans that you know didn't they didn't make a team was still trying to impress the team. You know, go out there and play. So it's gonna be it's it's cool that they're adding that because it's just another thing that makes it look you know more authentic. The third one was the D League. Now, the D League was also in two K twelve, and you notice two K twelve did did a pretty good job with. Um, how they did the whole drafting thing and the ways of making teams. You know, in two K twelve the way it worked is, you know, you did the it wasn't called Summer League, whatever it was called, when you're trying to make a team. You did that. If you didn't play well enough, you would go to the D League. That's just how it you know happened and they had the different D League teams. But, you know, of course you did well, you ended up making a team, you know, whatever. <clears throat> It would be nice for them to pit that, but also have it to where if you play, especially early on in your career, if you play like crap, you get sent to the D-League. I mean, that's pretty much the punishment of playing bad. Obviously, you're not going to play as good as you are your first few games of your first season compared to, just, you know, midway between, you know, in your second season. Of course, your rate is going to be lower, but there should be a line drawn. You, you just play like complete crap then, yeah, you should be obviously punished for it. So we'll see. But all these things are pretty cool because, you know, with 2K15, while I did like it, it was, it, it only had to where, you, you know, you were undrafted, you watched the draft at the beginning, didn't get drafted, you ended up going undrafted, and you picked the teams that were interested in you, and, you know, you had to play to a certain level. And if you did that, you know, you made the team, you got a 10-day contract, then you, know, you keep playing well. You got another 10-day contract, then you get a full contract. You make the team coming off the bench, you know, you go from there. And you were essentially locked into being undrafted. But now with the whole you know, the college thing, you know, it gives you a chance to either get drafted in the first, drafted in the second. Hell, they could still leave un being undrafted in there. You know, that way you could use the summer league as a way to, you know, for a team to pick you up or you know use the D-League as a way to still make an NBA squad 
So I, I like that they you know I'm not sure if they're gonna do it like that, but you know, I know I, I I think that's a good idea. It will make the my career more you know more interesting, and it will give different uh I guess outcomes to you know how you get into the NBA. That was another one. Um, it doesn't matter. Those are the three that really caught my attention, and it will be cool if they put that in the game. Two of them have already been in the game. You know. Go, go back to 2K12. Two of them were in there. So we'll have to wait and see what other information comes out. Will they add more college teams? What are they going to do with the D League? What are they going to do with the sum, Summer League thing? Also, are they going to add anything else? In this video, I just wanted to talk about my career. I'm gonna, I want to talk you know, in future videos. I want to talk about the online. Um, you know, What are they going to do with my part? Is going to be called something different? I believe it's going to be called something different. And what changes they're going to be made to you know, add how they do the attributes or any of that other stuff. But, you know, let me know what you think down in the comment section about college teams being in um, my career, D-League, Summer League. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.